We are, I decided to, I decided to take the opportunity to periscope while we're walking to the Wellington Market. Um, we're going to go to the Farmer's Market Sunday and today the topic is what, uh, how to, well how to really fail at procrastinating. And uh, I just finished my series of my uh, my my dream sequence series where I talk about you know if, if it's if your dreams do come true I talk about how you get your dreams to come true. This week I'm talking about um, monetizing your dreams, and I asked I told you last week. What do you think about monetizing your dreams? <laughs> what do I think about monetizing my dreams? <laughs> Man, I think that anybody can monetize their dreams with the right. Uh, the right mentorship, the right leadership, and the right attitude towards it. So, what do I say? I freaking love it, man. That's what we do. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to monetize your dreams? So, anyway, so um, <laughs> how to feel like procrastination. This is kind of an interesting thing in that when I heard that for the first time, I was like, yeah, that's me. Because I know that I tend to procrastinate. So, I'm just going to turn this around. <laughs> Um, I do tend to procrastinate, and I think one of the best ways and to, to solve it, it was just perfect. And I was like, yeah, you know, that's actually what I do. <laughs> I tried um, testing it out myself even before I found out about this way of failing at procrastinating. Sometimes what happens is you take too much on at one time. You know, you spread yourself so thin and then you set these lofty goals and you end up failing them. And, and sometimes when you get so overwhelmed with something, you um, just don't want to do anything because you're so overwhelmed. So the best way to fail at procrastination is create many habits. Create many habits. Here's an example. You are a business owner and you have to make phone calls, a certain amount of phone calls, or you have to send out a bunch of emails to certain people to answer their questions and um, you know the best thing to do is instead of saying okay tomorrow I'm gonna call 24 people you probably won't do it what if you just say okay why don't I just call one person at least you met your task you did your task and then the next day you can do two. So you're essentially stretching yourself. So create many habits. Hope you guys have a great day. We're here at the markets. Here at the markets at Wellington and hope you guys have a great day. Let's just uh, show you a bit of, oops, I just wanted to show you a bit of what we actually have here at the markets. Hope you guys have a great day and um, have a wonderful week next week.